Okay, so here is a multiplication problem that I prepared earlier. So I'm multiplying two numbers with three digits. So here my n, so the number of digits, is three. Um, so you can see, um, to do this multiplication, if I, if I do this the way that we learn at school, um, I have to start off by multiplying 9 times 4, and then 9 times 1, and then 9 times 3, and I, I write the answer here in the first line. So that I've dealt with the first digit. Now I have to do the second digit, this 5. I have to do 5 times 4, 5 times 1, 5 times 3. There it is. And then the same for the last digit. There it is. And then I, then I add up all the results. So this, we all know how to do this. The total amount of work I have to do this is proportional to n squared. It's n times n. Because I have to multiply every one of the n digits of the first number times every one of the n digits of the second number. Now this was the, essentially the best known multiplication algorithm up until about the 1960s. Um, and th at that point, Karatsuba discovered a better algorithm, which is something like n to the 1.58. Um, and then Schoenhager and Strassen in 1971 conjectured that you should be able to do it in n times log n um, operations. Um, they weren't able to prove this, but this is what they said should be possible. Now, uh, that's what we've done in this new work. We've proved that there is an algorithm which can figure out this, this multiplication problem using n times log n operations. Um, the question is, how big does n have to be for this algorithm to actually be faster than the previous algorithms? The answer is we don't know. It could be billions of digits, it could be trillions, it could be much bigger than that. We really have no idea at this point.